Hello, I'm the Resident Cartographer, and this is the second video in my Fallout 76 Post Wastelanders main quest series. Here we are just outside of Vault 76, where we finished up last time. Beautiful day here in Appalachia. Let's uh, get on with Wayward Souls. Now, last time I said we were going to help out Duchess, that's slightly true. We're going to tell her that we're going to help her. Because she's got something that we need, and so long as we tell her that we're helping her, she's going to hand over what we need. And that will allow us to continue along the uh, Fallout 76 Vanilla main quest line. Let's talk to Pennington here. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Any idea what those two are doing up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. You sound like you think they're up to something. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. What's been going on out here? Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Have you seen the Overseer? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. I ought to be on my way. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. Okay, so with Pennington talked to, let's go talk to uh, these two. In Lazy and Azella. Maybe. Or, sorry, Lacey and Azella. A vault dweller? H hey there! Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? The door sealed tight. No one's getting in. God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. The big one? What are you talking about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. There's a treasure out here? Well, yeah. There was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know what was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? You wouldn't have a spare weapon, would you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. What else can you tell me about this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name. He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. What can you tell me about the area? About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. What's the world like out there? 
We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Did you see another vault dweller go by? An overseer? Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. I better be going. Watch yourself out there. Okay. So we'll leave those two behind and continue on our trip to the wayward. Uh, now they were uh, nice enough to give us a weapon here. Which is very strange that the vault didn't give you anything. I mean... <laughs> If their goal was to make sure that these uh, vault dwellers were successful, you'd think that they would want them armed. Because they knew that things could get bad. They didn't, obviously didn't know exactly how bad, but still. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to try to make these videos 25-30 minutes long. Uh, and so what that means is that I'm going to be cutting out chunks where you're I'm walking and there's nothing really to see other than just the splendor of Appalachia um, but I will show you anytime I stop somewhere or and uh, like little bits along the route so you know where I'm going so you don't miss uh, just the general path that I'm taking now you can take whatever you want from uh, these people I could uh, loot this first aid kit here for example lean back and take a deep breath okay. and there's some more junk here and uh, so, unlike Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 or Fallout New Vegas, where you find way, like uh, traitors and scavengers in the wasteland, these ones don't care if you loot everything that's near them. So, <laughs> I'd recommend just going ahead and doing that. So, there are a few locations that we could stop off on the way, and it's always a good idea to stop off at a few places at least on your way to the uh, Wayward, because you're, again, starting out with basically nothing. Now, one of the best locations for the uh, early part of the game is the Gilman Lumber Mill right over here. It's uh, this thing right down here at the bottom of the hill. And uh, it's a uh, lumber mill that was being automated before the war. That's why there are still Protectrons going around it today, cutting things down, singing the Lumberjack song from Monty Python. There's one of them down there. And uh, we're going to stop in here because there are some nice weapons and uh, a good amount of junk here at this location. There are also ticks, so I'd always recommend being armed if you can, or finding a weapon quickly, like right here. Short hunting rifle, some uh, 308 rounds, and an ammo box, and I'm waiting for those things to come up and try to get me. Where are they? There we go. Vats really helps with ticks, because they are quick moving. And you are not, by comparison. Okay. Gonna take some other junk here. Along with that, if we go over to the main structure, we can find a little piece of lore over here. Along with more junk. And again, wood piles. There are... Oh! You can get a huge amount of uh, wood from this location. Let's see. Anything else over here? More wood. More junk there. Yeah, we can come in here. And again, there's just there's kind of crazy amounts of junk at this location for it being such an early location. You can use that lead pipe as a weapon or break it down. I'm having some issues with my mouse. I have never had a mouse last more than about six months. I don't know exactly why that's the case. Maybe I just use them really hard. But anyway, uh, let's head up this way. And that note that I was mentioning before is right up here. A job opportunity. Gary, you sick of cutting wood over there yet? I've been working at the West Virginia Lumber Yard for a few weeks now, and it's a world of difference. Better pay, better hours, and best of all, no robots. I talked to the foreman here, and he's looking for a few more guys. You better grab the gang and head over here before someone else fills your spot. Paul. Okay. I'll take his Barry Mintats too, and his hatchet. And with that, I think we have pretty much finished up everything we need to do here. And let's keep on moving. Uh, before that, though, let's equip the weapons. Let's see. Or at least favorite them. Okay. 
don't have many rounds for this thing, but it's typically a one-hit kill, so long as you actually hit them. Starlight Creeper there, interesting plant. Alright, head past this roadblock. And I could go to the Wixen Homestead, but instead I'm going to go to a more interesting location. Which is the abandoned cabin over here. Bee Swarm, interesting. You know, I really... Okay, getting the damage bug. I hate this damage bug. Where the, ba the game basically decides that you've done more damage than you possibly could do, so... The uh, thing just gets all of its health back. I don't... I hate it. <laughs> I don't know why it's something that's still in the game here. Nearly, what is this, two and a half years after the game first came out? What's that noise? It's time. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Cheers, man. You got it. It's okay. hard work making a living out here. And here's the isolated cabin. Interesting lore here at this location as well. Well, definitely I'd say more interesting than the stuff back at the lumber mill. That was just kind of uh, giving you an idea of what the lumber world was like out here. But we've got these two notes here. Ghoul's Note 1. Mr. and Mrs. Braxton. My name is William Keller. I represent a group of brave men and women whom you may wish to meet. In the years since our new lives began, many of us have begun to lose things that we once took for granted. Our skin, a face, an old voice. Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones die around us. It's been 20 years. No one should have to suffer in loneliness and fear. You are not alone. And then we have uh, Ghoul's Note 2. If you're interested in meeting, a group of your neighbors have gathered to the east. We've been contacted by a larger community like ours living in the capital. Apparently the city was hit hard, but they say a society is beginning to grow there. We're considering joining them. William Keller. Okay, so... The community, first of all, the ghouls, just a little bit of background here, gathered here to create a little community here at the Valley Galleria, but after that, they eventually moved on to Underworld in D.C., at least that's my belief here. Okay, we've got a corpse here. Oh, this is something else entirely. I'm going to leave this guy alone. Um, got a safe here, but I don't have the ability to unlock it. That's a completely different quest line that's entirely uh, centered around building the... Uh, the shelters, the underground little bunkers that you can build now. Take all the junk here. And some beer. Starlight creeper there. I typically don't pick plants unless I actually need them immediately because of how quickly things seem to spoil. Okay, doghouse here where they were doing mathematical equations for something, for some reason. I don't really know why. Okay, that's good enough. And with that, let's keep on moving. Alright, we're back on the road. Passing the Wixen Homestead. And we got another sign for the Wayward. Let's keep going. Okay, and there's the Wayward. Coming up on this covered bridge here, there are a few of those in West Virginia, but to my research, there are none this close to Flatwoods, uh, which is just down the road that way. Interesting old pieces of technology. They typically don't build these anymore. Okay. Uh, just because they're not cost effective compared to ones that can bear a lot more weight. Anyway, here's the wayward. There's Bessie, the uh, sentry bot, who thinks that it's a cow. Let's uh, go talk to Bessie. Oop. Exhalation of air through nostrils. <laughs> I decided to verbalize the form of snorting. Anyway, let's head in. And this is just the thing here telling you that uh, with the Wastelanders, they added these unique interiors for yourself and your teammates. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. Because pointing a gun at me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Look around. You think I'm having my people piece this place together out of mobile homes because I'm thrifty? Do I look like I know where this treasure is? Shut up! You got ten seconds to tell me where Crane is! Ten Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you- Hey! Who the hell are you? 
Me? I'm the person distracting you so the guy behind you can blow your brains out. Hey, guy, a little help. Guy? All right, there's Mort. Told you it was gonna end badly. And Duchess. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. I'm looking for the overseer of Vault 76. Have you seen her? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. No, I haven't seen her, but I have heard her. My people found a tape she left behind for one of her dwellers at that camp across the way, though. It is a bit out of date now. Maybe you're the one she left it for. I'm happy to hand it over. Though, now that we've drifted naturally onto the topic of helping one another, maybe there's something you could do for me in return. And you'll give me the Overseer's tape in exchange for what exactly? Just agreeing to lend us a hand in a little diplomatic intervention. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? And you promise you'll give me the Overseer's tape if I help you with this gang? Sure will. Throw some caps your way, too. Okay, I'll help you. That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? <laughs> I love that there's a char charisma one or less. Mail invitations, maybe? That's what my mom did for my birthday parties. Though, I guess no one came to those either. Oh, darling. Um, <laughs> see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tact. Just give me one second. So yeah, Duchess was, uh, back before the war, a, uh, drug lord down in the town of Welsh. But it wasn't just drugs, she also had uh, other contraband she was able to get her hands on, like explosives. I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Sure. I know how to build structures from schematics. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course you're gonna need materials. But we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do this. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Okay. So with that, we've completed Wayward Souls. 
which will give us another quest here in just a second. First of all, though, we get some crispy squirrel bits, melon, bourbon, simpack, and a couple of rat away. And that quest starts the quest Hunter for Hire. But of course, we're not going to do that quest because uh, that is not actually part of the vanilla Fallout 76 main quest. And that's what we're doing here. Uh, if you want to see a walkthrough of that, you can check out my Wastelanders main quest series. I will link that uh, in the uh, end of this. Uh, first contact, though, that's our new quest. Follow in the Overseer's footsteps, which means that we need to listen to her holotape, and we're also going to go over to her camp. Okay. All right, so I've turned off the quests that we don't need to do immediately. And technically, we don't actually have to go do the craft the weapon and craft a piece of armor. But we can do them real quick while we're over here at the camp. And I can do that while listening to the holotape on the <laughs> Overseer's log that was supposed to be here. Uh at her camp. So let's find that. There we go. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. See this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to keep you. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Okay, so crafted a piece of armor, crafted a new weapon, scrapped everything that we don't need. In fact, we can go here and uh, toss everything that we don't immediately need in here. Alright, that's fine. And let's get on the road again. Okay, so this route here has actually changed a little bit since uh, the game launched. With Wastelanders, they brought in a uh, Blood Eagle Raider checkpoint here. And then with the Steel Dawn, they added a uh, Brotherhood of Steel checkpoint here. So now we've got these uh, Brotherhood uh, hel hopefuls here. Um, it's kind of weird. Their, their dialogue is strange in that they'll sometimes be like, Oh man, I wonder if the Brotherhood's actually going to let me in or not. And it's like, what? You're you're actually taking orders without actually being... Anyway, let's take care of this Mr. Farmhand out here. Alright. And uh, along this road, you'll generally find a Mr. Farmhand. Uh, but along with that, you'll occasionally find... Well, not occasionally. You will also find uh, some mongrel dogs and... Uh, also, along with that, some plants like rhododendron. And. Oh, they're going after those rats, Dag. Gotta love vats, huh? Got some nice mongrel dog meat. Coming up this way, you should also always note that there's a uh, rat stag yearling here, which has meat and hide on it. The meat, which can be cooked up to make something that has uh, carry capacity increased to it and uh, the hide that can be turned into leather to make more armor because right now I've only got the uh, chest piece so there's a scavenger here there are actually multiple scavengers and wanderers and things like that here in this town fireflies by the way are not hostile they might so show up with red this on their name but they are not actually hostile uh, same thing with possums and uh, frogs well, the small frogs, not the rad toads. Okay, so here's the Green Country Lodge. There's also a scavenger here. And like I said, there's a possum. 
which they say is hostile with the name at the top there, but this thing's not actually hostile. It's just really creepy looking. Okay, so here's the weight room. Oop. I would always recommend stopping off in the Green Country Lodge weight room because of all the lead. And with this lead, you'll be able to make ammunition. Now, unfortunately, we don't really have that much in the way of gunpowder yet, but we'll get there. So, a little bit more junk here. And along with that, we got Jim Sessions notes. This, this is a little bit of interesting lore about this guy right here. We'll listen to this while we go find a place to scrap that lead. Ah, arm day. Three sets of 12 reps. Let's see. Dumbbell bicep curls, tricep extensions. Hmm. And back extensions, yeah. A little peeve about the lack of proper equipment. No bother. Chin up. Only eight more luxury coffins to make quota in backwoods. I mean, flatwoods. <laughs> uh, be difficult, given the uh, financial situation around here. Just need to remind them of our friends, the Chinese. Uh, I'll be back on the plane to Ipswich switch within a fortnight. Uh, gather it'll be the bench press today. Yeah, again. So Flatwoods is an interesting little town. I did a full lore video on it covering both the game in town, sorry, the town in game and the town in the real world. I recommend you go watch that if you're interested. Let me scrap all this stuff. And all those lead bars suddenly turn into weighing nothing. Somehow. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. So we're basically coming up on the end of the uh, episode here. Uh, but there's so much lore to read here, so in the next episode, we're basically just going to be walking around town, reading all the notes, listening to the holotapes, uh, seeing what the things were like for the responders. Uh, let's talk, though, to Heather Ellis here with her dog, Chloe. Are you here for the responder training? As a matter of fact, I am. Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here, too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? What gave it away? The vault suit? I sure am. I knew it! I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing, with the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. Best of all, you're safe, which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. Mind if I ask you something? Go right ahead. Tell me about yourself. Me? There's not much to tell, really. I came in with Paige and the rest and stayed up at Foundation for a while. It was nice, but eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responder, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. Tell me about Foundation. It's a community of settlers up in the mountains to the east. It's a nice enough place, I guess. That being said, it's a hell of a dangerous trip trying to get there. I barely made it out of the mountains alive. If I were you, I'd keep to the forest until you're ready to deal with some seriously nasty stuff. Tell me about Paige. He's the closest Foundation has to a leader, I guess. I never got to know him real well, but he always seemed like a decent guy. Honest, reliable, cares about the people, that kind of stuff. There's something else I'd like to know. Okay, what is it? What's with the responders outfit? I found it in one of the houses. It fits great, and it's really comfortable and pretty durable, too. I'd also be lying if I said it didn't have some sentimental value for me. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. What they stood for, helping people no matter what. That was really important. Anything interesting you can tell me about this area? Yeah, there's a couple of places around here that qualify as interesting. At least to me. The Agricultural Research Center is infested with feral ghouls and homicidal robots. But you can find some good scrap in there if you're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. Thanks for your time. No problem. So yeah, Heather Ellis is going to be the first in the chain of uh, NPCs that we meet that are directly related to the main quest line here, and that she has uh, basically taken on the persona of just a general responder. Now we'll also meet 
someone who uh, is basically like in love with the uh, concept of the army, someone who <laughs> loves the fire breathers, and so on and so forth. So here's the trading post. This is where we're being sent for the uh, uh, first contact quest. So let's get the uh, Overseer's Log here and play that and grab everything else here too. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwood. My god. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person, but it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice, angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected, and we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. Alright, now, something I forgot to mention after talking to Heather Ellis, she talks about coming to this place because of the radio. Here's the responders' camp signal. Hi folks, this is Jeff Nakamura of the responders. We've set up a camp at Flatwoods, and we're offering supplies, medical treatment, and survival training to anyone in Look for us in the church across from the Flatwoods Tavern, and if you can volunteer some time to help out, you could definitely use it. This message will repeat. Alright, there we go. Okay, well again, in the next video we're going to go over all of the lore that you can find here in Flatwoods. And uh, along with that we're going to continue on the quest here to become a volunteer. It's probably going to actually last a little bit longer than half an hour would be my guess, because there is so much to read and listen to with the survivor stories and uh, all of the uh, stuff that Delbert Winters left behind, the Reverend, who also was a big member of the responders here in town. So anyway, though, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.